Okay, here with the Tennessee Rainwater. So for those who don't know much about you or, or haven't read you know, your previous interview, just kind of talk about your background, where you're from, family, siblings, all that type of stuff. Yep, so I'm originally from um, Seattle, Washington, but um, my eighth grade year, after my eighth grade year, we decided to move out to uh, the Spokane area. And that's where I'm now going to school currently at um, Davenport High School. It's about uh, an hour from Spokane. Um, and yeah, I just always liked basketball growing up and it's always been my main sport and I'm going to continue, continue to do it. Uh, any other athletes in the family? Uh, my dad played professionally overseas in Germany and my mom was a gymnast growing up. So, um, and uh, my sisters both do uh, basketball and volleyball. Okay, nice. Um, I guess like what type of things has you know, your dad kind of taught you over the years, you know, having played professionally? My dad just, he always has me in the gym, always has me working, um, always encouraging me and um, trying to get me to that next level every time I step on the court, so. Nice. Um, you know, getting into your game a little bit, just uh, you know, talk about some of your strengths. Um, I'm a combo guard. Um, I have a very quick first step, get to the rim. Um, I have a nice vision of the court and I can knock down the three, um, so yeah. Uh, what about some areas of improvement you're working on right Areas now? of improvement, um, always trying to improve the shot, um, just get it as good as I can. And then um, I'm working on um, finishing at the rim and uh, finishing over bigs because that's going to be um, a big thing, especially going to the next level. So. Hey, how do you feel like uh, you've made strides in some of those areas? So made far? big strides, um, you know, at my AAU practice we have a big and I always like going against them so I can practice finishing over uh, taller guys and I like coming to camps like this, just playing against the best competition you can find. So always, um, always helps you be a better player. Yeah, I guess uh, on that note, like, what are some of your like initial impressions uh, so far? Uh, this camp so far has been really cool. A lot of competition, a lot of great players, and uh, we're all just going at it, having fun. So. Yeah. Um, what about some uh, underrated aspects of your game? Underrated aspects, um, my dribble. I have, I'm a quick dribbler, and I feel like I have a great handle for the ball. And um, some people don't uh, see it, really see it coming because I'm kind of bigger than the, any of the smaller guards. Gotcha. Um, so, you know, Seattle's got a great basketball community. Just kind of talk about the, uh, the culture here. Uh, culture of Seattle is great. Um, I always loved um, playing basketball in Seattle, and it was awesome, awesome to be able to move to Spokane. So now I know people from here in Spokane, and um, just a lot of great guys that we all go at it every time we step on the court. Um, describe, uh, you know, your past high school season. How was it? Uh, past high school season, um, we were having a great season, and then unfortunately we came up short in districts. Uh, had a great year, ended up being uh, first team all league, and um, but didn't end how we wanted to. But we're back to work right after the season. Nice. Um, getting into goals a little bit, just kind of, you know, short-term goals, long-term goals. Where are some of those? Short-term goals. Goals. I want to end the or uh, win the UA circuit this year with Eastern Washington Elite. Um, long-term goals. I obviously I want to go play um, high-level major Division One basketball and uh, perform well there. So. And getting into your recruitment a little bit. Just what's the latest in terms of any offers, interest? Latest interest. Um, talking to a lot of schools in the Big Sky and um, a couple D2 and D3 schools. Okay, and which, I guess, which schools in the Big Sky you uh, Idaho, I've t talked to Idaho and Idaho State. Um, I've talked to Eastern. Uh, I've talked to Northern Arizona. And then outside of the Big Sky, I've talked to uh, Seattle U and Central. Okay, uh, do you have any, or have you had any sort of uh, dream schools growing up? Or kind of uh, dream schools, Gonzaga. Um, big basketball school and close to where I live by, so it'd be awesome to be a hometown hero. Sure. Um, I know it's still early and you have some time to decide, but ideally, like, what would you look for at school of choice? Ideally, um, one of the big schools I've been looking at right now is GCU. Uh, love their basketball program and, and love their school and the academics they offer there. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, on that note, academically, you know, what are some of your interests? Any idea of what you might want to major in at the college level? I uh, definitely want to major in uh, business. My uh, mom and dad both owned a business growing up, so it kind of inspired me, so probably that majoring in business. Nice. Um, so getting to know you a little bit off the court, just outside of basketball, what are some of your interests, hobbies? Outside of basketball, um, I like to play the drums, I like to play piano, kind of musician type of guy. Uh, love hanging out with friends, just doing active stuff, being outside, swimming, you know, 
going on hikes and stuff like that. So just anything active, pretty much. Okay. Uh, classical piano, jazz piano. What do you play? Uh, I kind of play some gospel because we, my dad, uh, he's a pastor of a church, and so I grew up kind of playing drums in church and stuff. So um, that's how I got my musical uh, background from. Nice. That's awesome. Um, if you had uh, one hashtag to describe yourself uh, on or off the court, what would that hashtag be and, and why? Underrated. I feel like um, a lot of people don't really know who I am, and uh, I feel like I'm going to wake them up pretty soon. Perfect. And we'll conclude with this. Uh, ideally, five years from now, where do you see yourself? Uh, five years from now, I want to either be playing in the NBA or um, overseas or an influential basketball player, you know, so. Well, perfect. Thank you so much for your time. Man. Thank you for having me.